I want to talk about two of the most essential tools in all of coin magic. The fake placement, or fake put, what we now call the retention of vision vanish, and the good old French drop, and why we see these so badly performed everywhere. Give me just 10 minutes and I'll have you doing these moves better than they've ever looked before. Let's go. Greetings and uh, welcome back. If you were here for the last video, I shared with you one of my own ideas, uh, the rolling retention. And this time I thought it might be good to get back to basics and address some problems I'm sure we've all had with uh, the retention of vision vanish and the French drop. Now most of the time when you see the a retention of vision vanish, you might see this kind of action. The first finger popping up and the other fingers snatching the coin and I'm guilty of this myself and did it for years until I sat down and tried to really examine the move so I went back as far as I could to find information about it and one of the oldest published uh, descriptions of it that I could find was in uh, The Art of Magic by John Northern Hilliard and T. Nelson Downs it was published in 1909 what we're given is a written description and only two illustrations and it even says in the text that this move may not even be new or original but it was a favorite of Mr. Crawford's. So in the description it says the coin is grasped by the first finger and thumb and placed in the left hand where it is then taken by the second and third fingers. And going by the two illustrations there's kind of a before and after picture so naturally what you would do is this kind of a motion following the description. The next place it's published, I think, is in Greater Magic uh, around 1938, I think, also by John Northern Hilliard. And then it's uh, given the name The Elusive Pass. And then that, that same description is given in Bovo's on page 29 with a little bit of history and a few more illustrations. But again, there's, there's just some piece missing to make it look good. And then probably the best description I've read is in uh, David Roth's Expert Coin Magic on page seven. And it, it's a little more descriptive and a, a bit more well drawn. And it was through Expert Coin Magic I kind of came to my own conclusion. To get rid of this move, I started to tilt my hand forward as the left hand was closing. So as the left hand closes, the coin begins to just lay down on those second and third fingers. You no longer have to reach across the coin to get it. The coin is laid down onto your fingers. So it's a matter of not staying vertical, but the first chance you get when that coin is shielded, break at the wrist and then extend just a little bit on the coin. And because now the coin is horizontal, that's enough for it to stay put. So again, you start vertically, then go horizontally at the same time, getting that full picture of the coin and then closing that image. And hopefully you get a flash on that for the spectator to receive that image of the coin. So try this out in the mirror slowly and handle the coin like an egg. You don't need a Superman grip or any force, just really softly try this out. Tip and come away. Tip, come away. 
and naturally the place to go after this, you're at fingertip rest. The easiest palm to go in is the classic palm. So you want to do the move, drop the hand away. Focus attention here, and you might have a magic wand, or if nothing else, come back up. Palm, and you can gesture here, and that's the vanish. This is the move, this is the vanish. So this is a little thing with terminology. This is not a vanish. It's a fake put or a fake placement. The vanish is the, the effect, the completion. The fake put is the methodology. So enough on that. I hope you check out those texts, uh, a little nugget. If you go to this website, archive.org, uh, it has for free, because it's in the public domain, uh, The Art of Magic, with a lot of T. Nelson Downs material in it, uh, Modern Coin Manipulation, which is even older than that, I think from 1900. That's all of T. Nelson Downs material. Uh, there's Our Magic. Uh, a lot of old books there for free. So if you have the time and patience, go and go and read those and see how how much stuff you rediscover that's that's been modernized and whatnot. Another small point with the retention of vision vanish, just to create a little more movement out of it, rather than this static placement. I like to have the coin forward, or as I'm talking about it, you know, somehow a little motion to it as I come back to place it, rather than going from here to here. You know, be, being more casual with it and doing something like that. Or having the left hand come to the coin. It gives it a different feel. Try it out in the mirror and uh, experiment with moving one hand or moving the other hand or maybe moving both hands. You might be talking to someone over here and experiment with not being so careful about this positioning. Okay, moving on. The French drop. Now this move is, I don't know how old and in how many different books, but as good a description of any is in Bobo's, which we've all memorized the pictures. You have the coin here, the other hand comes from behind, the thumb pokes through, and then you pretend to take the coin like that. But how terrible does that look? <laughs> so I have a few touches on that that I think really sell the move and give the audience conviction that Oh, that coin was taken by the other hand. Now, in my other video about the rolling retention, I mentioned how I prefer vanishes that have more movement to them. They feel looser and you know, more effortless. So with that in mind, take the French drop and give that coin some movement. Maybe you're talking to the audience, talking about the coin. Show the coin up here first. With the hand inverted, give it a spin, then bring it down in an arc as you go to grab it. So the hands meet at the low point here. At this instant, it's almost a C. So you're going down, but as you begin to come back up, the left hand meets. And I don't even put my thumb behind the coin. It comes to the left side of the coin as the fingers cover the whole front. So my thumb isn't even involved in the whole action, like coming from behind. You could even come in front of the coin. Another point is the right hand lift the thumb up and extend the fingers, almost like you're giving that coin away. 
that just sells a little bit more that nothing's in your right hand. Like you, you're giving away control of the coin. So it's this movement, the arc, the, the giving of the right hand. Those three things are, are adding to that, this old, old vanish that can make it look so good. And again, like with any vanish, you're dropping your dirty hand, you're focusing on the other hand, and you're doing something with the dirty hand. At the bare minimum, it's dropping to your side, palming on the way up, and doing something here. You know, we spend a lot of time learning a slight, fine-tuning it, looking at ourselves in the mirror. But when we get to perform that slight, we don't want to look like the way that we've been practicing it in the mirror. So movement is key. Looseness is key. Effortlessness. So you need to spend some time really cementing the, the mechanics, the foundations, what's going on in a slight. But as soon as you can, you need to practice that in a context, in a routine, so that you're not pausing beforehand or after, but that you go from one sequence to the next sequence to the next sequence. And that way, when you're performing it, that sells the vanish. There's nothing to see. There's, there's no disruption in this flow. So spend time learning the mechanics, then find a routine, go to Bobo's, the simplest routine you can find, then practice it in a context where you can go to point A to point C and the vanish is point B and it just flows in a line. That's gonna, that's gonna give you the smoothness you need that's gonna start to go into all your magic. So guys, I hope some of these tips help. Um, I know they're minor points, but if, you're, if you really take a look in the mirror and give it the time, you're gonna see how much better these two ideas are with the French drop and the retention of vision. Uh, come back next time. I'll have something new for you. A new creation of mine. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe and uh, please leave a comment. I've been reading all the comments and I'd love to hear any ideas people have, anything you want to learn, anything you want to talk about. I'll see you next time.